welcome back to another session of Art at Home. Today, we are going to be making mandala stones. And the mandala is based on an ancient design used in Tibetan Buddhism for, it's a diagram of the cosmos and it's used for meditation and centering. And I think we could all use a little bit of that right now. So we're going to be doing our own mandala design in acrylic paints on a stone. A little word of warning about these uh, paints. These are acrylic paints, they will stain. I know this from painful experience. So uh, be careful with them. You might want to uh, you know, protect your work area before we get started. Okay, so here's how you get started. You look at your stone, you gotta kind of become one with your stone, figure out, do I want this to look this way, this way, that way? Uh, every stone has a unique shape and your design is gonna be based on what you want it to look like and what you think will best suit the, the form in front of you. So you gotta kind of be a little bit of an artist there. You have a number of tools in your kit that we can use for making the mandala. Got a pencil, can use the tip and the eraser and a number of cotton swabs. So uh, prep a little bit by tearing the, or peeling the cotton away from a few of these so that you have two surfaces on the cotton swab, the, uh, the puffy and the non-puffy surface. Okay, so you wanna get started in the middle. Even though in meditation, the mandala is, is uh, entered from the outside and you come into the middle, creating it, you start from the middle and you go out. So um, we're gonna start, and there's no real right or wrong way to do this, this is just a suggestion. Start with a little bit of white paint. And you might wanna do some experimenting first before you jump in on the uh, rock. Do some experimenting on a piece of scratch paper or on the uh, bag that your kit came in. Okay, so we're gonna do a dot in the middle and then continue making dots in sort of a cruciform shape. You gotta go slow. That's part of what makes this kind of meditative. When you watch the Tibetan monks doing their sand mandalas, they're not speeding through it. They're going really slow. So that's basically how you start. And then where you go from there, gosh, it's really up to you. But I'll give you some suggestions here in just a minute. Mixing up uh, what we call a tint. A tint is where you take a color and you add white to it. A shade is where you take color and you add black to it. So we're just going to deal with tint here on this one. Okay, so now I have more or less my palette of uh, colors to work with. So since I already did this initial central design with the largest um, painting tool I have. I'm going to take another one, a little bit smaller. And for this one, I'm going to use the tip of, well, maybe not that, maybe the cotton swab. Let's see what that looks like. Again, experiment. I don't want to make any commitments that you might regret. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, I like Okay, so now I'm gonna fill in the space in between. The central shape. With my tint of blue. Okay, and then let's do something different. Notice that I'm turning the stone around as I place the dots, creating a visual rhythm and also a little bit of a working rhythm. That's why this is just so peaceful 
and delightful. One tip I haven't used yet is the uh, tip of the pencil. And this is for the smallest shapes. I'm gonna see what I can do with uh, this violet tint here. Yeah, that's good. What you do is totally up to you, but what it should have in order to be a real mandala shape is what we call radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is when a design is balanced, um, not, you know, down the middle, but from the middle, radiating out from the center like uh, wheels, spokes on a bicycle wheel. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so you've caught up with me uh, as I'm putting some of the finishing touches on my first layer of the mandala stone. Notice that um, I'm turning the stone as I do these designs using the tip of the sharpened tip of the pencil and just trying to kind of fill in the spaces around and in between my circular shapes but whatever you do on one side you got to do on the other side like for here here for instance i have these two little white dots well i gotta think okay what's directly oh gotta do those two little white dots there have to make it balanced that's part of the beauty of this. After you're done with one layer, like you see here, we can go through, embellish it with tiny dots. You can also wait for it to dry. Some of these um, circles, dots are already dry, so I can do another layer. Here I'm just doing little white dots on top of that, which adds another sort of cool layer of dimension to it. And you can also bring in black and um, use black really sparingly. Whenever you use black in this kind of design, all the attention is gonna go there. It really is kind of just an accent piece. So let's see what we're gonna do with the black. I think I'm just gonna do a little shape here, a little shape there. I always have to do it on the other side too. What you do on one side, you better do on the other. I'm gonna go ahead and call that done. Yeah, I like my mandala stone. You can leave it as is, or after it dries, what you could do if you wanted was uh, cover it with a layer of a shellac or a varnish. You can even get a spray varnish. I kind of like just the the beautiful natural color of the stone as a background. Well, thank you for joining us and I hope you had a good time creating your own mandala stone here at Art at Home. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just start in the middle and then follow your instincts and you will create something really unique and personal and beautiful. Remember to share your art with us by posting and hashtagging FCC Art at Home so we can see what you've done. Thanks and bye-bye for now.